I accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States of America. Senator Kamala Harris officially becoming VP nominee Harris Wednesday evening. The California Democrat who joined the Joe Biden ticket one week ago delivered her acceptance speech to a mostly empty arena in Wilmington, Delaware. I pledge to you that we will act boldly and deal with our challenges honestly. We will speak truths and we will act with the same faith in you that we ask you to place in us. The first woman of color ever to join a major party presidential ticket rounded out a long list of female leaders speaking on the third evening of the convention, including Senator Elizabeth Warren, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. Remember back in 2016 when Trump asked, what do you have to lose? Well, now we know. Clinton and former President Barack Obama urged why. voters to make sure they show up to the polls this time around. Nearly four years after lower turnout in key states caused Democrats the White House, Obama offered arguably the strongest rebuke of his successor yet. For close to four years now, he has shown no interest in putting in the work. No interest in finding common ground. No interest in using the awesome power of his office to help anyone but himself and his friends. Night three focused heavily on women's issues and lent airtime to issues like immigration, gun control and climate change. The Biden campaign continues to walk a fine line between opening up the party's tent of support at the risk of alienating those on the left. Moderate and even GOP voices were prominent voices in the first two nights, while Senator Bernie Sanders and a short speech from Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez served as essentially the only progressive voices. But former opponent Senator Warren hearkened back to her own campaign phrase and told voters Joe Biden has a plan to make their lives better. The president, she said, does not. Donald Trump's ignorance and incompetence have always been a danger to our country. COVID-19 was Trump's biggest test. He failed miserably. Former vice presidential hopefuls and primary contenders will headline Thursday's final evening for the Democrats before Biden accepts the nomination and closes out the party's first convention and then begins the formal general election. In Wilmington, Delaware, Alex Miller, Newsy.